I'm excited to be bringing you five of my favorite beauty tips to look younger instantly. This is nothing that would be like a big surprise to anybody. I don't think these have been makeup packs that have been around for a long time, but they're ones that I feel like for me, they are a must in every single time that I do my beauty routine, whether that is skincare or makeup. So there is a couple of different things thrown in here that are skincare and then there is makeup in here. And I'm gonna demonstrate that for you today. If you're new to my channel, I invite you to please subscribe and ring the bell so that you can be notified of any videos that we might be having in the future and whether or not you are new or a long-time subscriber welcome to the video today and please don't forget to give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate that it does help me out very much so we're gonna get into these five beauty tips that will help you look younger instantly okay the first one that I have to share with you is a skincare tip and this one I feel like is non-negotiable for any woman that is aging across the board Usually as we age, I'm not saying this is 100% of the time, but usually as we age, our skin does dry out a little bit, um, especially underneath our eyes. Our neck gets a little bit more crepey, that kind of thing. So that a lot of times is signs of dehydration or our skin being needing more moisture. Let me tell you what I do in the morning because I feel like that moisture in the morning is so important to make my makeup look prettier because if my skin looks bad, all of the makeup that goes on it is going to just look just as bad no matter how expensive it is, no matter how good it is. So you've so, clenched your face, you've used any serums that you want to use. Now you're going to do that moisturizing that is so important to plump up, plump up the skin. And what I like to do is I like to go in first of all with a spray bottle that has mineral water or purified water in it. And I just spritz all over my face and get it really almost soaked because that is where the moisture comes from, is from water. And so many people have said that they've not been able to use hyaluronic acid. Well, that's the reason is because you need that layer of water before you go in with something like this. This is from Hada Labo and it is a super hyaluronic acid. And I will put this on or I very recently have gotten from the Inky List, I'm probably gonna say this wrong, but it is polyglutamic, poly polyglutamic acid. Now, what is interesting about this new acid that I just, that I read about when I was looking at the Inky List is that this acid is supposed to be four times more moisturizing than hyaluronic acid. Now, the claims with hyaluronic acid are as it holds a thousand times more its weight in water. And now we're looking at this. So 4,000 more times its weight in water that it can draw to, but you have to have that layer of water first. So I put the layer of water, then I layer this, and then I'll go in with something that is going to hold that layer of water in and that is my Sukoyakasuhara Urea Moisture Lotion. You can see in the bottom there that that is extremely liquidy. You wouldn't think that that would be super hydrating, but it is the only thing that I use in the morning to lock everything in. Now with the eyes, I'll go in with their eye cream. It is a little bit thicker. I have really, really bad deep under eye wrinkles and really super dry skin under there. So, so super moisture in the morning helps give a healthy look to your skin, a plumped up look. That is what a younger skin looks like. It's very bounced back, it's very hydrated, it's very plump. Tip number two is about your eyebrows. Now, I do have my eyebrows a little bit done today. I kind of shaped them out. My daughter, who is 23, she has the most beautiful thick eyebrows. And when she was home this last time, her and I were talking about eyebrows and I was asking her about how she gets this beautiful shape on her eyebrows. But as, as I looked at them, um, I was thinking, you know what it is? It's that her eyebrows are thicker. So what I'm gonna do, this is how I would normally wear my eyebrows before I started doing it. Very thin, which is not a bad look. A lot of people have very sparse eyebrows, so they have to do it very thin. But I'm gonna thicken these up just a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm just going to put a little bit more eyebrow right here on the top and I'm just gonna thicken it up. Now, please keep in mind that I do have a palsy in my hand. I will shake during this, but that shaking is not due to nerves. It's just due to the fact that I do have a disability. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna thicken it up ever so slightly just enough to kind of make this top look thicker. I don't want to thicken it up from the bottom because that's going to bring your eyebrow down. So I'm just going to take this top part and I'm going to just thicken it 
fill it in a little bit more, make it a little bit wider. And then I'm just gonna brush it out a little bit. And you see the difference on this eye and this eye? Even though it's just that tiny amount, it gives a little bit more thickness, which gives the eye a little bit more height and a little bit more lift and makes it look a little bit more open. This eye actually looks a little bit more droopy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this other one. So again, having these eyebrows that are just a little bit more thick, they bring the eye up a little bit. They make it not look like it's drooping down. And the other thing that it does, it's more youthful. Kids have nice eyebrows normally. They're beautiful, thick eyebrows that they don't tame. They don't do anything to. And that is the youthful look is that thicker eyebrow. Now I'm not saying go Brooke Shields 80s crazy with the thick eyebrows, but having them a little bit thicker, a little bit darker really does help out a lot that's one thing I didn't mention was a little bit darker too but you obviously probably know that already from um, doing your own eyebrows so number three is kind of a fun secret weapon that I learned about on Emily Noel's channel and this is the wet n wild highlighter brow pencil this is kind of a chubby pencil it is just a pink color I'll show you right there it's just a very nude pink color but it's bright but what I love about this I did wear this in my waterline and it does make your eye look brighter that way that's where what I learned from Emily but what I've learned through the years is that all these girls that are putting in their inner uh, tear duct there they're putting that highlighter it is pretty and it's beautiful but if you're more mature and you want something that is just a little bit more soft you can achieve it with this a little bit better and I'm gonna show you so you can see how dark that is in there I'm gonna fill all of this in with that pencil and I'm going to just go ahead and take my finger and I created exactly what they create with highlighter but it's with something that is matte and it is something that is more along the lines of a cream product which does help with your aging skin too now if you want to lock that in place dust a teeny tiny bit and I mean like on a pencil brush or something of powder in there translucent powder and you're going to have that locked all day if you do too much it's going to look too dry and it's going to kind of defeat your purpose so I'm going to do this other one and basically, I'm really just kind of painting quite a bit in there. And it just really helps that part of the eye just look so much brighter. So easily done and easily make your eyes look so much better. Now, you can also take this and go right underneath your brow right here, just at the arch, and kind of lift that as well. So can you see the difference in the two? Kind of just lifted it really well. So I'm going to do this one so you can see it too. So that brightness just brought that up. And so we've got brightness here and we've got brightness on the outside of the arch as well. It just looks so pretty. Now you can put this in your Cupid's bow. And that again will bring a little bit of light to the Cupid's bow right there. But using that highlighter pencil in specific targeted ways can really give you a lightened look on your eyes and really help to brighten them up and make those look more youthful. So that is number three. Now number four is about cheek products, their placement and how they can make you look so much better. Now we all kind of, anybody that grew up in the 80s, 90s, we didn't do a lot of blush. I guess 80s we kind of did, but in the 90s it was very dramatic eye, very little blush, very nude lip. Well, that look is beautiful on somebody that's younger, but if you get no blush and no lip, you're gonna look so pale and drained down here that you're gonna look a little bit sickly on the sickly side but if you can use a pretty bright blush it can really help to brighten up your look so today i'm using a super shock blush from ColourPop, and this one is called count me in it is a very neutral peachy pink it's just a bright color it's beautiful and then i recently found this sonia kashuk um, angled brush that's actually for contour but I'm gonna give it a try today and see how it does on this. Okay, so with the blush, I like to bring it from the outside in because I don't wanna necessarily get too much on the inside to begin with, but I like to have it a little bit higher 
and just blushing up a little bit of my cheeks. You can already see the difference in the two sides and how that's already getting brighter. Now, lots of people tell you to put it right there on the apples of your cheeks. Because I'm older, I don't do that. It's not a look that I really like that much. I like to have it kind of draw the eye upwards. So I just kind of grin a little bit. So I do know where the apples of the cheeks are, but I don't bring it like straight on apples of the cheeks. So I just keep pulling that up a little bit and pressing it around. I do bring it a little bit around my eye just to tie the whole look together. There, can you see how much more youthful this side looks with that blush on than this side? It just really does define youth as far as having a flush to your cheeks, a blushing bride, that kind of thing. So those are what we're looking for. A baby has beautiful skin, but they do have those little rosy cheeks or children have those little pretty rosy cheeks. So that is what I'm talking about as far as, you know, blush brightening, blush flush, that kind of thing, bringing more youthful look to your skin. Now, a lot of people right now are doing the contour down their nose to make their nose look a little bit thinner. As an older woman in her 50s, I just remember that when I see kids walking around, they've always got that sun-kissed look. So I do actually bring my blush a little bit across my nose, not a ton, and on my chin. This is where the sun hits us. It is where we want to have just a little bit of a softened look. If you're somebody that still loves that contour, no problem. I'm not trying to say don't do that. I'm just trying to say this is what works for me. This is what I look at when I look at a young child, um, maybe one that has been playing out in the snow or something. They've got a rosy nose. They've got rosy cheeks. They just look so cute. The other thing, somebody that is younger, let's say you have somebody that is a blushing bride. Let's say you have a pregnant mom and you say you're glowing. It's a beautiful look. So I do suggest that you use just a very light hand with a highlighter on the tops of your cheeks. And this one again is from ColourPop. It's their Super Shock Cheek Highlighter. And this one is in Flexitarian. Lots of people talk about this and it's for good reason because this is a gorgeous highlight that doesn't leave any texture across your cheeks and yet leaves that really just soft beaming look. So here's the cheek and I'm just going to put it just barely on this area right here. And you can see how soft that is, how much it diffuses that look right there on the cheeks. And so as I turn, you can see it. And then as I turn, there's a little bit of glow here, but it's a little bit dull on the side I haven't done yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the other side as well. So there is the glow, just a tiny, tiny bit of glow and it just brightens it up. Now, if you're somebody that doesn't like that much glow, do the highlighter first and then put your blush on top of that and that's gonna diffuse it even more, but you're still gonna have that very lit within look, that very beautiful glowing look. Now, number five, I firmly believe this is where every woman will show her age, even if her makeup is flawless, her skincare is flawless, everything from here up looks absolutely gorgeous. Do you know where her age is gonna show up the most? It's her hands. Okay, so I suggest that you get a really good hand lotion. You do a really good scrub on your hands. You do something for your hands every single night, every single morning that's gonna make your hands look younger. Now, I know that with all the hand washing that we're doing and the hand sanitizer that we're using, our hands are drying out like crazy. Morning so. and night, I do a complete treatment on my hands. And that is, I will exfoliate them because your hands, unless they're really raw, they're gonna need to ha have some really good exfoliation. Use whatever you want. If you feel like a rag is enough just to you know, get the dead skin off, go ahead and do that. If you're somebody that likes a chemical exfoliant, you can do, treat yourself to that. I would say only do that once or twice a week if you're gonna do a chemical exfoliant on your hands. You can also use a granular product, a dermabrasion product, where you just kind of you know, slough off the dead skin off of your hands. And then I go in with my new favorite lotion, um, which one of you lovely subscribers told me about and pushed me into getting, and I'm so thankful that you did, sweetie. But this is the Alpha Skin Care Renewal Body Lotion. This is fantastic for that crepey, nasty skin that we get when we're older. It's so good for the hands as well. This is gonna be a little bit harder for you to see because it's not really one that I can just go, okay, well look at this hand and then look at this hand because I can try to do that, but it's probably not going to be as good because I've already moisturized my hands like crazy this morning, but I will try and show you the difference. Um, maybe, maybe not, it will show on camera. 
sometimes this camera gets a little bit too much light in it. So this hand is super moisturized and this one isn't yet. So I feel like moisturizing your hands, making sure that they are as hydrated as possible can really help hide your age. The other thing is make sure you bring all of your skincare down on your hands and up your arms. That does help me so much. I used to have such really, really bad spots on my hands. I mean bad age spots until I started to really pay attention to my hands with my skincare. That's the fifth tip. I hope that you guys did enjoy these five tips for anti-aging, making you look younger with beauty. It is very easy to do all of these tip tips and enjoy them. The benefits of them can be enjoyed today if you want them to. So thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I hope all of you are staying healthy and stay sanitized, stay safe. I love you guys very much and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye you guys.